Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here, back with yet another 100% achievement and trophy guide, and this time we are getting it all in hour. This was developed by Scroll Cat Studio, or published by PM Studios, and it's usually available for £12.99, but it's free, totally free, totally free, during the months of uh, May to June 2023 with Games with Gold. So, we play as Hoa. A girl in a rather questionable pointy hat costume, I'll go no further than that, eek, um, who has to go through a beautiful environment with puzzles and creatures and robots that want to kick you in the A butt and stuff. It's a lovely, lovely looking game and for around 95% of the time is super relaxing too. Uh, now as for the achievements, the majority is pretty much just for playing the game and getting to new areas. Uh, there's a few miscellaneous ones like getting kicked by a robot ten times, etc, etc. But even if you miss one, you can go back to use chat to select and grab whatever it is that you need. And there is also one uh, quite annoying achievement actually, which is a legendary 0G one for not getting kicked by any robots. But you can simply replay the last level Dreamland to complete that if you so wish. You'll get the full 1,000 with this guide, but I don't actually show the untouchable achievement. Uh, I'll uh, blech, More on that a little later. Um, all in all, you're looking at around one and a half to two hours to get this done. So, with that being said then, let's do it. And of course, this bit's all automatic until we can start moving, which we can now. Plus, we'll get our first achievement for the journey starts. So, of course, this is going to be the tutorial, as is the toot in every game. So, you need to press the A button to jump, jump on the flower, jump over the rock, and <clears throat> walk on. Jump on the small flower, jump left to the medium flower, jump right to the big one. And I say questionable pointy hat costume. She looks more like a, a, like a grand tiny wizard, doesn't she? She looks like a, a, a wizard of... Small proportions. So we're going to get another achievement here for talking to the uh, beetle guy. It's all beetle juice. So what you can do is actually just jump on him. And he'll start following you. Um, so you can jump on the flowers if you so wish. Um, or you can just literally just keep slamming on the ground. Doesn't make a difference. Um, but we're going to jump down. And into the next area. Lovely jubbly. So yeah, we do get sort of straight into the game. Um, few dialogue options... Uh, uh, a few cutscenes and stuff like that, um, unskippable, but you know, they're all good. So, uh, go ahead and interact with this beetle here just by walking up to him, and then just make sure, you know, take your time with it there, and just get him all the way over to the left-hand side. Once he is uh, just underneath this leaf, give him the jump of life, and up we go. Again, you don't have to worry about the dragonflies or anything, they're just simply watching you go. And you must be real small if dragonflies are that big. Uh, anyway, jump off over to the right and head all the way down. Whee! And, ow, my legs, they broke. Anyway, head left into this little underground cave. Ooh, spooky stuff. Nope, it's just another sleeping beetle. So, awake him from his slumber. And uh, get him moving to the right. By the way, the music in this game as well is absolutely fantastic. But just because uh, I am now paranoid about getting... Um, demonetized that's why there's no music in this game but the music in this game is fantastic which you'll hear on your own screen so once you're up anyway and again the bee won't sting you he's just he, man he's just trying to get some of that sweet ass honey man aren't we all mr b aren't we all so drop down uh, go into the log here to find yet another beetle get him out to the left hand side and then you can jump up to the log on the right And now she blows, matey. Up we get, onto the log, job done. Right, a couple of uh, flat tip mushrooms are going to pop up. We're going to jump to the left and continue upwards. Uh, yes, she can climb, Hoa. <laughs> Hoa's on the flower. Right, we're going to speak to this juicy grub worm thing. And all we can do is just bounce on its back and, uh, yeah. So, yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much... Uh, now who's being the Hoa? <laughs> Old jumpy. Jumping on someone's back. Uh, so yeah, you can press the white button if you want to have a look at the map. Um, it's pretty much not needed, um, but just in case it's there if you want it. Uh, so, uh, grab grab all grubby bags down here for the second, and then jump on its back to jump up to the log on the left-hand side. There we go. 
And this is where the first robot is. Uh, we are actually going to get kicked ten times by this robot. So, uh, and that'll be for the... Uh, Do I look like a ball to you achievement for being kicked ten times by robots. Uh, no, they can't actually kill you or anything like that. They literally just stun you for five. So it's they're, they're not too bad, really. Anyway, jump on his head, jump on the leaf when you've got the achievement, and we can jump onto the next leaf, continue to the left. Um, now, this is automatic again. It's actually just showing you where the butterflies are. Now, basically, the, the main premise of the game is we need to wake up a sleeping giant, collect five butterflies, and they'll give us an extra power. That's pretty much it for the entirety of the game, and then we, you know, end it and win. Hooray! Right, so uh, for this part then, um, really it's probably best just to follow the screen. There's there's nothing else really going on. Um, all you need to do is just uh, continue climbing upwards. So fairly obvious. Um, the thing with this path is, is we head to the left, first of all, and then jump up to the right. And then what we're going to do is jump up on all grubby bags there. But yeah, for, for and there's the first butterfly in the top right-hand corner. So now you should have two butterflies following you. Um, but yeah, so as I said, um, for those sections, they're pretty usually quite obvious where you're going. You're literally just jumping on leaves and stuff going up. Anyway, here is all bug bags again. Her Majesty, do not wake her up. She's still annoyed after being kicked out of art school and starting World War Two. That was the Hitler one, right? World War Two, Yeah, me right. But yeah, a little history lesson for you there. Uh, Hitler actually got really annoyed and started his um, terrible regime because he got kicked out of art, uh, Jewish art school. So yeah, I mean, <laughs> dude, imagine holding that much of a grudge. Jesus Christ. God, that's small wiener energy, that one. Right, anyway, what you can do then is just head to the left, see this little crack in the branch. As soon as old Grubby Bags jumps over, or comes over, jump up and... Ta-da! Off we go! Yeah, see, full of history I am. Um, sort of. Anyway, do your little bits of climbing for now. Again, the, the closer you get, the more obviously you can see that the leaves will appear. So jump up on the grubs. And, you know, climb it, boy! So when we get up here, you'll get an achievement, and we're going to jump up to the right-hand corner here to grab the third one before dropping all the way down and not breaking our legs. So again, make sure then that you've got three little butterflies. Three little butterflies following you up the butt. Uh, yeah, so you should have three following you, and now we can just crack on and head back to the right. So again, sort of a lot of this game is going back and forth between places and things like that. It's... it's but it, doesn't get boring or anything like that. It's still a very enjoyable game. So we jump up, we jump up, we jump up, jump up, get down, jump, 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 jump up to the next log, head all the way to the right. Wow. So into the next new area we go, jump up onto the log, and we can, well, there's nothing there, is there? So we need to actually jump up on the leaf, jump up to the top. Can we do it? Yes, we can. Bob the Builder says we can, so we do. Uh, so jump up on Grub, obviously jump up to the right. This is where we're going to get the fourth butterfly momentarily as we head out to the right again. Now we've got a new little mechanic in this game, so all you've got to do is jump up to this one once and you just go left and right to give yourself quite a bit of momentum. Uh, three or four times should do it and then just press the A button to jump off as you could see there. Once that's done, just continue heading to the right, and we're just going to have to do this for a little bit now. So, again, swing yourself left and right three or four times, get the momentum going, and then jump up to the log above.
And congratulations! Welcome to comparesamirkat.com. No, you actually did it. So, yeah, for just a few minutes there then. So, they, they may take a little bit of time to get used to, but once you're sort of into it, it's uh, it's fine. It's all good. And then what will happen then is you see these, like, little engravings or markings or whatever on the wall. You'll automatically pop that one in and a whole bunch of butterflies will try and devour you. Ah, butterflies don't eat people. Or, I don't know what Ho is supposed to be, actually. Is she supposed to be people or is she just supposed to be, like, a... The Grand Wizard of Tiny Town, or something. I don't know. Anyway, they'll drop us down. We can head back to the left. And we're going to go down, 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 down. But not too far down. Um, in fact, actually, we are going too far down. We're going f further down than I actually thought. So all the way down, all the way down. And then what you're going to do is speak to grub bags on the uh, right here. And then what we can do is going to start going up. So immediately go to the left, jump up onto the leaf. Go to the right, jump up, jump up, jump up. Now you can't actually miss him. He'll just start crawling back down. But just pop your way onto him and he'll smash you over to the other side like an absolute Snorlax. Snorlax the king. And this is the next engraving. Yeah. And then, death. Ah, fooled you, didn't I? Gosh, I'm hilarious. No, that now turns into a butterfly. Bug, the bugafly. But, uh, yeah, whatever. Anyway, drop all the way down, head to the left. And then simply just follow the path left until you speak to big chunky butter wings here. I can't believe it's not Bugafly. I can't believe it's not Butterfree anyway. So again, just smash the A button to uh, cr 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 crack on through the dialogue as it were. So if you followed along, you should have the five butterflies. So now you have the ability to double jump. So obviously press the A button twice there as, you, as you've seen the instructions on screen. And that's job done. So that's the first area complete. Look at that. No time at all. Right. So we're going to drop all the way down again. This time we're going to head to the right. And then once we do head to the right, um, here is another robot, by the way. So, again, you can literally just jump at his head. Uh, now, the untouchable achievement, um, even if they touch you slightly later on in the game, um, you can, you, you, that will avoid the achievement. So, it's a bit of a bit of a pain in the bum to snatch, but we'll, uh, again, come to that a little bit later on. So, uh, continue heading right, go down, go to the left, where the next beetle is, get him to follow you to the right, and get your ass out of here, boy! Now, if you had trouble seeing Hoa before, you're going to have more trouble now because the screen has just got uh, wider. So jump up onto the flowers, as you can see, just at the bottom of the screen. Jump up onto the big chunky flower, go to the left. You can probably just see her in the distance. If not, I'll get your glasses on. And then simply just jump to the left again, where we're going to do some more, well, puzzly stuff. Yes, this is, uh, yeah, this is one big puzzle game, so... Uh, so jump up onto the leaves. It's literally just a case of finding your way up. Just basically, it's more of a tutorial of how to use the double jump, even though we should know how to use it. Yeah, so through a few parts in this game, I'm not going to be talking through everything, as the path is usually sort of fairly obvious. But here's the first butterfly anyway, so jump over the robot to grab that one. 
And we can jump on the robot's head to jump up. Uh, so yeah, you know, if, if we go in just left or right for a bit, you know, I don't need to speak through everything, even though I know you guys love the deliciousness that is my Welsh voice. Because you always see people on the news on Welsh who talk like this. Like they sound like they got a bloody banjo up their butt. Anyway, once we've climbed up, head to the left, we're going to jump over the big rock. And we are going to uh, wake up the beetle and just jump up on the rock here. And he's going to push us delectably, delightfully over the other sidery. So thank you, thank you, beetle. Let's jump up and continue to head to the right, obviously. And as if by magic then, uh, all you had to do was go next to this engraving and the tree would appear. So, uh, without breaking our ankles incredibly again, we drop down. And we just simply head for the right hand side now. So jump across. And we're just going to do the same thing. So continue on to the right and we will go through to the next gap place part gap. So, a bit of Russell Crowe fighting here, so all you need to do is jump on one of the Beatles, he'll get bigger, and he'll go fighting around the world, and then simply just uh, jump up onto the next Beatle and jump over to the other side. And after the fighting around the world has been done, we enter the next cave. More leafs! Jumpy jump time! So we needed actually to come up here to get one of the angry steroid bulls. There, uh, the beetles. Sorry, there he is. So he's been left on his own because he took too much trem. He ate, uh, he ate too much trembleoni sandwiches, and he's just smashing trees down. But uh, luckily for us, that gets the way open for us. So we can actually just head to the right and all the way back down. And back to the fighting round the world Beatles. Making movies, making songs, and fighting round the world. Russell Crowe. So jump on the next Beatle, jump up to the left hand side. And ta da! Once again. A lot of ta da's in this game. Right, jumpy jump leaf time once again. You know, do your thing. Jumpy jump. And once we have jumpy jumped, uh, we're actually going to get another achievement. Can be actually easy to miss this one. So we just got to jump on the Trembleoni Sandwich Beetle's back once. That's all. So make sure to go to the right here, of course. Now, he won't attack you or anything like that. At least I don't think he will. Uh, no, he doesn't. Uh, but here's the next butterfly. And what you need to do then is just jump again. Make sure to jump on the uh, steroid infused Beetle's back to get the rodeo. Achievement and with that one done then we can just head up so continue heading up rather than going to the left and back down and Here is another one of those Oh my god, he's alive Look at the mustache and the hair. God damn, that's fantastic. So heading to the left then, um, effectively now, all we're going to do is just go ahead and talk to this big giant mustache king with trees on his eyebrows. Yeah, eyebrows. Tittle do, tittle do. Um, now, I actually meant to jump over to the left here. Uh, so you can talk to him now if you want, the same as me here. Uh, I actually meant to jump over to the left. I accidentally uh, spoke to him. But we've just got one more little thing left to do. Uh, but go ahead, speak to him first anyway, so it just gets out of the way. 
because of course we don't have all the five butterflies yet. So that's where we're going to be going now. So over to the left hand side then what we're going to do is take a right now. We're going to start embarking up the tree because there are two butterflies up here. And one is good and you can just see you could probably just see two on the screen there. So jump up, jump over to the right. And that'll be one butterfly and then just uh, make your way into the middle, jump and that should be four butterflies now, the fifth, the fifth remaining butterfree, the rarest of all Pokemon. Uh, well, actually, I'll, we're going to go and find him right now. So what we're going to do then is just drop down to ground level. As you can see, he's in the bottom right-hand corner. So, yeah, not that rare and uh, not that hard to find. So simply go ahead, grab this butterfly, go ahead and speak to big, massive, mustache, eyebrow thing. And, uh, yeah, continue on we shall. So now we have the ability to push a block. Now, you'd think Hoa would have these abilities anyway, being like a wizard thing, but apparently not. So just press the B button when next to any block or anything that you can push. Push it all the way through and head to the right into the next area. And of course, we're going to get an achievement for that one as well, So which is always nice. Uh, so uh, from here then, just jump up to the right. And we're going to continue to the right. As you can see, the thing we're on uh, already has a glorious mustache. You can already see it. Uh, but jump over to the right anyway and head down. Now we're going to start pushing these blocks, which um, they go into these little... So yeah, these little balls of light, we'll just call them. So what you need to do is push these blocks into these little balls of light. They'll start flying up. Uh, well, you need to push them a little bit further than that. Let's try again. There it is. So once that's done, we can actually then just jump up to the right-hand side cave entrance exit. And, oh my gosh, look at this. More puzzly stuff. Right, heading down and to the left, first of all, into the next area. Oh, scurry stuff. Uh, but there's nothing too scary in here at all. Uh, so what we need to do then, we are going to push this first block to the right-hand side. And that'll start getting him flying up. Jump over. So we're going to push this next little block, blocky blocky Chan, all the way over to the right. And he's going to fly up here. There we go. And then jump, jump over to the right again. Again, try and avoid the robot if you can. If not, then... You know, it's fine. No nothing else uh, happens. Uh, so push this uh, first block on the right. And then go ahead and push the small block. And push the big block along with it. Then they will both fly up. That will give you the little pathway needed to jump up. Jump up to the top right hand corner as you can see in just a moment. Oh, in fact, we're not grabbing the butterfly just yet. Uh, so apparently I missed that butterfly first of all, that's nice. Uh, but we are going to jump across, push this block over to the left, down. And then push left, push left, push left, push left, push. And there we go. So he's going to fly up there. As you can see there is another butterfly there. We do actually have to go back. So that's why I didn't bother grabbing the butterfly the first time. So we need to actually push this. Now I, I accidentally messed this up. We need to push him to the left. Um, I did accidentally mess that one up. Well, I say mess it up, it just takes a few seconds. All we got to do is jump on him, and he will float back down again. Uh, but we do need to push him over to the left as well. Once he's there, jump up, jump up, jump to the left, then grab your first butterfly. There is butterfly number 01. And... We're straight into engraving marking territory. Ta-da! And boop! 
It was like a little leaf fraction there, wasn't it? <laughs> where, did that, where did that little leaf come from? Uh, so, head to the right once again anyway. Obviously, we're drop, dropping back down. Continue heading to the right. Well, after we push the block, we need to push the block first to the right. Get him back in his original position. And there was a reason we missed this butterfly first earlier on, uh, because that's actually the way out. So jump up, head to the right, there's your next butterfly, and now we can continue onwards, upwards, and leftwards. And on to butterfly number three. Push a uh, big daddy block right here slightly. Go to the right, as you can see, there is the third butterfly. And again, you should have the three now following you. And then push Big Daddy block over to the left some, so you can jump up to the left again. There it is. Cheers, Big Daddy. Then push Little Tiny off and push him to the left, of course. And now what we're actually going to be coming up to is a frozen spiderweb section. Uh, again, easy enough, uh, but are we going to take a jump up here? Jump up again. Uh, if it doesn't work, just give yourself a little jump and then he'll jump like a jump jump. Jump up to the same, do the same thing again. Boomp, boomp. Some, some of these noises sound like a, the start to a Faithless song, by the way. Which <laughs> we can all agree, Faithless is fantastic. Love a bit of Faithless. Right, so this is the sort of, it, it's kind of like a little maze puzzle type thing. So what you need to do is go through, um, there's only sort of one way that you can go. Um, it, it's not random and you can't fall or anything like that. So if you end up sort of looking like you're getting stuck like me, just uh, go, go around and have a look at the rest of the web. Um, you know, whether it's up, down, to the left, or just below you. And that's pretty much all there is to it then. You're just sort of making your way through this little labyrinth maze puzzle. And we'll get an achievement for completing this one as well, or just smashing through it. So yeah, none, none of the, you know, nothing in this game is random. Everything is uh, as it is. Everything tis as tis. Uh, so here is Big Daddy. Uh, we're going to uh, push him over to the right, ever so slightly, just so we can jump up. And then jump up to the left to grab the fifth and finale of the Butterfly Army. And then we can head to the left, and there it is, the next engraving on the marking on the walling. Tell you what, mate, you can't beat a couple of free new powers just for grabbing some butterflies. So yes, you'll press the A button. So press the A button to jump. So effectively, what we're doing now is going all the way to the right. But to use your new jump smash button, you just press the A button and then the X button once, and that'll give you a jump smash so you can jump 
to higher places off robots' heads and leafs and such. So stop being silly like me, um, <laughs> just go ahead, so press the A button once, then the X button to smash. I very silly, I don't know what I do. There it is, look. So <laughs> you jump your way up and then, hello, freedom, out of this goddamn hell cave. Uh, so jump to the right uh, to get the hell out of here. Here we go, here we go again. So we got the Night Traveler achievement, that's all good. So now we'll start using our new smash ability um, for the better. The bitter and the better. So, uh, ladybirds. Now these are, these are obviously platforming sections. Um, so we can drop down here, grab the first butterfly first of all. So they are, so basically when, when you jump on one of these ladybugs, or ladybirds, whatever you want to call them, wherever the hell you're from, um, they fly away, so you have uh, just a couple of seconds to jump on it, as you can see. So jump up, and then you get a second or two before he flies away. So, you know, fairly obvious, um, but there are some w worse ladybirds uh, later on in the game, <laughs> which we will come to just later on. So jump up, and of course head to the right. So here is a moving ladybird, bro. So we'll just wait, and we'll wait, and we'll blow your house down. So there we go. Yeah, again, fairly obvious, fairly easy enough, that one. So what we're going to do is make our way all the way up to the left-hand side first. There it is. Man, why are ladybirds so startled by everything? And then what we can do is jump up onto this magic bell of life and swing our way up to the other side. If you can't um, grab it, there you go. Just move to the left slightly and then jump up. Lovely bell sounds, by the way. Lovely. There we go. That one's not too bad. Now these le next ladybirds, these are sort of timed platformers, if you will. So they'll stay there for a few seconds and then they'll just fly off on their own, as you can see. So when it comes back, jump, jump onto the next one and then just jump straight up to the bell. Give yourself a little bit of momentum here, uh, or a big bit of momentum. Wait until the ladybird flies away. Give yourself a few seconds and then, oh, in fact, I think I just missed that one. Yes. So don't go off straight away. Uh, again, that may take a few, uh, a few little attempts. They certainly took me two or three attempts because I kept missing the timing on that one. So they are the annoying ladybirds who just want to fly away and come back whenever the hell they damn please. Don't you want to help me? I'm Hoa, damn it. Anyway, jump up on the robot and again. Uh, oh, now this one, the... This one can be frustrating because all you got to do is move the left stick over to the next ladybird and then move that ladybird over to the uh, bell. But it can be kind of tricky to um, to control. Uh, so it definitely took me a good took me a few minutes there just to sort of get used to the controls and everything. So, but that's all you got to do then. So you don't need to press the A button or anything like that. You literally just fly over to the next thing. What you need. And you will automatically grab onto it. But that can be a pain in the old cucumber Benadryl batch.
So we should now have three beautiful little butterflies following us. I believe. One, two, three. Yes, it is. Right, so make your way over to the right-hand side. Jump on the second leaf if you're a bit uh, concerned or just take your time. Um, if you do manage to drop down exactly like I done, just uh, climb your way back up and head to the right. Um, uh, jump on the... get the robot over to the right a bit. Jump on its chunky little nugget head. Bam! And off we go. Here's another robot, so again, just um, pop your way over, because there is another butterfly up in the trees. So make sure to jump up on this robot's head, and make sure to grab that fourth butterfly, and then we can just head on by. And that's, uh, yeah, that's pretty much all there is for this section. <laughs> just jumping on second robot's head to get another butterfly. Job done. Right, now we can just drop down to the right. And hello, San Diego! Of sorts. X, just uh, do, 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 do. look at me, look at me fly, look at me fly. Right, anyway, uh, what you need to do, ow, uh, you just kicked me in the A, bruh. So I'm going to jump on your head. There we go. So jump up onto the, uh, these leaves then. Once we get up to the top, we need to go to the right, since there is only one way to go. So just simply make your way up the ladybirds and the leaves, uh, stick with the left hand side because that is where we're going. Left hand side it is, but jump, run, quick! So over the branch and far away, here come the robots come to play. Smashing his head, jump up onto the leaves. The leaves, sorry, not the leaves, the leaves. Obviously heading to the left. Jump on Chunky Boy's... Ow, oh, my, my leg. My, my leg. Uh, effectively, there's only sort of one uh, path that we are actually going. And you can't really go anywhere else for the time being. Apart from the right, which we're going to do. Jump on the robot's head and jump to the left. Jump over, there is going to be another robot. Hello, goodbye. And we are going to be coming up to the fifth and finaliest of the Butterfly Rarties. And once again, it's a climbing up section. So again, uh, just take your time with this one. There are those weird electrical ladybirds that you have to fly up to. So, you know, take your time and just get to the top. Thank God we made it. For me, to be honest, that was a bit of a pain in the old, uh, in the old rectimony. The old sanctimony rectimony. Um, just the stupid electrical ladybirds and, yeah. Anyway, that is one that we've done. <laughs> so now we've got more to do. So drop all the way down. Hooray.
So now it's time to do the other part. So fly over to the right. One be I mean, couldn't you just go into the big chunky thing's wing and just pull it open like? No, apparently that would be too easy. Right, so this is uh, only a small section. This isn't too bad. Again, it's just one of those platform tiny, tiny sections. Head up over to the right, of course, top right hand side. And we are going to get the finale of the butterfly and the finale of the mark and engraving. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, now, again, this is all we're doing, obviously, is heading to the top, but we're going to have to do some more timed jumping. So here is the last butterfly then, just in the top right hand corner of the screen as you can see, so jump up, jump back down onto the leaf and continue your way upwards. So now you should have all five pretty little butterflies in a jar. But go, 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 go! Don't fall! Bruh, them's weren't no dancing ladybugs. They was flying away ladybugs, birds, bags, whatever you call them. Anyway, oh, je ah, ah, Jesus, my eyeballs. What the hell was that? Anyway, what we're going to do is drop down and make your way to him and he'll give us yet another power. So, as we can see, we can sort of fly, and when I mean fly, we can glide for a while. Um, so, yeah, that's that's all that is. So, what we're going to do then is, uh, f so if you are finding that uh, something is just hard to get up to, if you just go ahead and press the right trigger, as you can see, you'll sort of float upwards and highwards for a good couple of seconds. So, definitely comes in handy, this one. But, ta na 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 here comes the dandelion of life. Oh, here we go. It's the underwater area. Now, we all have a good underwater level, don't we? <laughs> well, this one's actually quite chill, so you are going to enjoy this underwater level. We're underwater soon, but we can breathe. We will be able to breathe, and, you know, nothing will try and kill us, so that's all good. So, just drop down then. Hello, St. Louis! Uh, that's Springfield. Hello, Springfield! So when we get here, uh, we're going to jump onto this chunky fish boy. And then when they turn around, uh, they will almost get you off. So just be careful of that one, as you can see there. And then as soon as he goes to turn around, jump up to the higher platform. <coughs> Hello, Mr. Big Chin Fish. <coughs>
Ah, once we've dropped all the way down here, we can see Mr. Krabs. This is basically what life would be like for Mr. Krabs if the Krusty Krab was uh, shut down. He would be homeless. So, uh, all you got to do is, if you want a crab here to walk left or right, just go next to his left eye or his right eye. And he'll start trekking over. What he'll do then is he will block this um, whirlwind, this water wind, the wind wind. And then we can just jump through and start solving some more delirious puzzles. Well, I say that, actually, what we're going to do is try and follow a path and light up the way. So, continue heading left and down. And for these bits then, it, 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 the path is pretty much kind of obvious for now. Um, it does start to get a bit, little, little bit more tricky later on, but for now it's actually not so bad. So yeah, there's a couple of ledges, um, there was a couple of ledges there that, obviously, if you do, again, have trouble climbing up, remember to press the right trigger to fly, glide over. Uh, so what we can do now is just go... Boink! Onto the crab, get him going left, and do the same thing. So we need to go to the left, once he has blocked away, to do some more stuff. And this be a jellyfish section. Now, I never actually, uh, like, fell off one of these jellyfishes. Um, so I can't actually tell if you die or not. But uh, anyway, uh, so what we're doing is literally just jumping up onto the jellyfish and continue heading all the way to the left-hand side until you find another path that you can follow down. Uh, so, yeah, obviously you can use those big shooty up things. What are they called? Water? Are they called water bursts or something? Water... Water some things uh, to, uh, yeah, lift yourself up. I'm really annoyed. What the hell are they called? Water m mains? Water veins? Water spouts? Durr! Water spouts. So, you can use the water spouts to lift yourself up if you wanted. Anyway, now that we've gotten way past the water spout bit, uh, just continue heading to the right here and drop floating down. Water spout yourself up, water mains, water veins, what the hell am I on about? So what we need to do is actually just drop down to this one right here. Now, these are timed once again, so what you're going to need to do, we need to try and um, time it so we can actually drop, drop down. If you press the X button, you'll actually smash down a lot quicker, as you can see there, and then that'll get us the way. Then you can go to the right, and then just drop yourself down. Again, with the X button should be fine, and then we can continue on to the right. Uh, so, this bit's not so bad. We can just head to the left. And, ah, my head. And then we're going to drop down, continue to drop down all the way down, and this time heading to the right. So, there we go. That wasn't so bad, was it, mate? So, when we get here, there are two paths we can take. We're going to take the right path first, and you know why that is? Oh, it's a beautiful butterfly! So just jump up onto the jellyfishes of life. None of them are going to sting you because, you know, you're just like a little wizard thing. But as soon as you jump up to this one, here is the first one. Job done, bang, toity. So, we can just float vicariously down, 
but continue heading to the left. So make sure to take the left path this time and continue heading upward. Easier than the ladybirds, thank you, God. Speaking of me saying thank God, last time I've seen a couple of funny things on Facebook. An atheist going, thank God I'm an atheist. <laughs> also, uh, there was a flat earther one who said, uh, there are flat earthers all around the globe. <laughs> derp! Ah, oh, some top derping on social media these days. Uh, so once we've got the first clam then, that's what we need to find. We need to find three of these. So for now, on these jellyfish, we are going to continue heading up and to the right this time. So make sure to continue heading to the right. So that's the end of that section. So jump over Homeless Mr. Krabs. Uh, just continue on to the right, and then what you're going to do is find another homeless Mr. Krabs, and continue over to the right, and obviously block the water spout. It is the water spout, isn't it? That's, an, that's not just off Incy Wincy Spider Nursery Rhyme, is it? Oh, I'm doubting myself now. Incy Wincy Spider, clean out the water spout. Uh, no, this is a water spout. I'm keeping it as water spout. Right, so, some more fun stuff to do in this next area. And we begin with... Oh, we gotta light the way again. So coming up is the uh, another butterfly, so as we jump up here, again, use your flying ability if you get stuck or if you need it. Uh, just to the left hand side here is going to be our second butterfly. So then all we're going to basically do now is we're going to grab the third butterfly and that just uh, entails, uh, in cases us going to all the way to the right. So continue heading to the right. I've got no idea what's going on with the screen by the way. Uh, it's, a bit, it's a bit jumpy. Um, I've got no idea what's going on. But anyway, there is the third butterfly. So that's not too bad. Making record time. Sort of. There, what we're going to do is basically head out of this area. There's nothing else that we need. Tweed need. So head to the right. Sort of jump up to the right there, as you can see. And the way out shall prevail.
No more dark tunnels, please. And thank you. Okay, head down and move Mr. Krabs to the left, and then we're going to jump on the water spout. And just like Incy Wincy, we're climbing up it this time. So this is the final area. And then we've just got one more level to do, and then it's the Dreamland level. So, yeah, floating free. Free that bird! But this section does involve jumping on fishes and climbing all the way up. Now, because obviously we are floating quite a lot, uh, it's not too bad, but you still have to uh, sort of get the timing down. As you can see, I just about made that one. Um, <laughs> so, you know, just do be a bit careful. Um, don't try and jump too early, otherwise, you know, the only thing that'll happen is you'll have to just climb up the fish again. So, but it just takes time, and the time is money, and time is money that we don't have, as you can see. Me being almost silly mans once again. So when we jump up and onto the fish on the top, as you can see, the butterfly here is to the left. So once you've done that, rah, grab that one. That is number four. It should be number four. So jump immediately back onto the fish or wait for him or whatever. And then you need to just, um, in fact, we are waiting because there's a bunch of fishes over the uh, right hand side here. So I kind of got lucky with that one. Um, but if you wait until that, the previous fish you were on goes to the right, then you can go ahead and jump over. Here is the final butterfly, but we're not quite done yet. We need to continue up to reveal the last calamity clam. And good old Tentacruel has woken up. Man, if this was a Pokemon game, they probably... Well, if this was a Pokemon game these days, the game would probably be released uh, broken. Uh, you know, just like the last one. And pretty much just like the majority of games these days. So somehow, we've got more technology, more advances and everything, and games get released broken like hell. What is that about? I suppose it was a lot easier to just do t 2D uh, platform moving stuff back in the day, I suppose, wasn't it? No voice actors or anything. No achievements to speak of. So, go ahead, speak to Tentacruel. She's going to give us another power because we do, and we should have all five at Butterfreeze. Freeze. So these kids are pretty useful then, if you ever wanted to jump on a kid's head, uh, this is your opportunity. Um, that she, she's given us permission to jump on her children's head. Of course, I highly advise against jumping on real either animal kids' heads or just any animals or any humans whatsoever. Uh, just don't jump on kids, okay? They don't deserve that nasty treatment. But anyway, all these do then, these are just platforms that float up and you get a second or two to nip over to the next one. Simples. <laughs> no, wait, that's wrong. Simples. Oh, no, nah, crap. Never mind. I've got the Australian wombat in my head now. One, here we are then guys, so we are one hour in. Ah, get it? One hour, one hour, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right, so anyway, that uh, since that fell flat, uh, we'll just, there's a lot more robots on this level, but again, pff, you know, <laughs> they don't do anything to you. We are magic, so screw off. 
So just keep going to the path. Uh, we're going to head up. First of all, another robot where we can just jump straight up onto the pipes. Now this is the final main level of the game. Um, and then we do, as I said, we have the inverted dreamland black and white sequence left to do. Which, well, that's always fun. Uh, watch out for the robot then. And just continue onwards. Another robot will be appearing in just a hot second. Now, for this next part, then, um, if you d don't go where I went, uh, just basically keep on heading out to the right-hand side door. If you did do what I do, it, it literally makes no difference. So, basically, what is going to happen is, if um, we need to f get a robot from the right to pull the lever, which is now directly below us. So, that's all that is. Uh, so, there's just two ways to get into this room. So, just jump up. There we go. We'll hit that one. And now, once again, with this robot, we can jump up and continue upwards. Continue the journey upward. So then, that big friendly iron giant we are going to help. Um, so what we need to do then is just press the button once at the top. So just jump up. Obviously head to the left. Press the button once. Um, I accidentally pressed it again, but it literally makes no difference. So what's going to happen, the coal's going to go into the fire. Just make sure not to jump again if you want to save yourself a few seconds. Otherwise, we can just head to the right. Ron Seal does exactly what it says in the tin. So, one, two, three, four. You should automatically get the next cutscene going. Now, again, I quote a lot of, like, British adverts and British stuff. So, if you're American and you're wondering what the hell I'm going on about sometimes, it's normally just British adverts and stuff. Oh, I know how to piss Americans off as well. Sorry, no offense. Beans on toast is a British delicacy cuisine. Mwah. Especially cheesy beans on toast. Uh, yeah, I know. Again, Americans, you're going to be confused by that by that one. But it's what we do. So, uh, yeah. Very much like your biscuits and gravy. Because over here, that would be digestive and oxo cubes. So, you know. Anyway, um, <laughs> enough with the Britain versus American. What what food is better thing. We'll, <laughs> we'll uh, talk more on that later. Uh, we're going to get another miscellaneous achievement now, and all you have to do is basically um, press the switches, which are right next to the robot, uh, just ten times. So you literally just need to flop his arms up and down ten times, um, and we've got a bit of a slot machine going. That's awesome. So yeah, so just to get the achievement, then just keep jumping on each of these switches ten times until the achievement unlocks. So once it does unlock, make sure that the right hand side arm is down and the left side uh, arm is up. And then we can, yeah, so it's, it's an easy slot puzzle. It's not, uh, you know, one by chance or 
won by luck or anything like that, so that's lucky. Now, just be careful of these wind suckers. If they do suck you up, they'll just put you back to the beginning of this tiny little section. Um, so it's easy enough, just, it, again, it's just a time thing, so be careful as you go, careful as you go. Um, there's going to be quite a few more of these as well, so we can't actually, there's no, actually nowhere to go here, so sorry, we just need to continue heading down into the water. This is another part of Sucky Sucky, so again, just wait in the pipe, drop down, drop down again. If you need to go faster, of course, press the X button to smash down instead. And as you'll be able to see then, I think it is this this part where I decide to... Yeah, there you go. So if you get sucked in, you will just start literally at the, at the beginning of this little tiny section. So again, just do the same thing. Just jump all the way up, avoiding the sucky sucky $10. And the same thing again then, we're going to jump up to the right and once again just time it so we get all the way up to the top. Together we made it, we put our backs up against the wall, Linkin Park and Jay-Z. Right, so, we smashed the switch down. Now, in order to get the three uh, robot signs in a row, uh, it's very easy, literally. All we're going to do is, we're going to step on the right switch first, and on the second switch, wait until the triangle pops up. So, again, I obviously messed that one up, so just step on the right-hand side one first, whatever symbol pops up, like the triangle, so wait for the middle one, wait for the middle triangle to come through. And then jump off, and then jump on the middle one. Uh, with, again, it doesn't matter the, uh, the symbol as long as they're all three in a row. So for me it's this butterfly symbol, once you've got three, there we go. Now everything's lined up perfectly, and that'll be the first chain. Off, and goff, doff. Doff, 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 doff. Right, so... Let's head to the right side and do the other one. Now this is just a, another little easy puzzle section, probably easier than the whole pipe sucking ones. Literally all we're doing is just jumping on these and then jumping onto the next one. But we're going to continue heading to the right and then uh, as soon as we can we can go up and then to the left. And that's all it is for this section. And it is the same thing with this one then, so start off with the right hand side one, because if you do the left, only the left one goes, and then obviously it just all sort of messes up. So, again, just like the previous slot machine looking thing, uh, start off with the right hand side one, get a symbol going, and then when, uh, obviously, when the one in the middle goes onto it as well, jump off and then do the same with all those ones. There it is, mate! Right, now this next section, uh, basically it's a cutscene and then all you've got to do is literally, you can't jump or you can't use any of your abilities. 
Um, we're basically going to be running away from other massive giant robots. But again, there's nothing you can do apart from run right. So that's all you're going to be doing for the next minute or so is running to the right. It's, uh, it's enjoyable. So there you go, you think the game's end. Hoa has succumbed to Hoa injuries. <laughs> I don't even know where her legs are, man. Anyway, so what... <laughs> yes, what was supposed to happen? You were supposed to see another minute or two cutscene. For some reason, my internet decided to cut out right at the perfect time. But after the cutscene, you will enter the Dreamland Zone. Now, this is, I think, effectively the longest level in the game. Um, so it's black and white and everything's a little bit different. Inverse controls, and as you can see in our reflection on the bottom, um, we're gonna be needing to do some things as well. So, um, so for instance, what we need to do here is jump up onto the snail and then just jump as uh, much as you can. So obviously you're gonna be effectively looking at the bottom one for the most part. So a couple of flowers are going to pop up. So obviously what you need to do then to get past the section at the top is Look at the bottom and just jump on all of the flowers to climb over. So, another always fun bit then, just push these blocks, uh, continue to push them over. For some reason, I was uh, starting to get a little stuck, for whatever particular reason. 
So I ended up pushing the uh, chunky big daddy block and the one on the bottom obviously starts to fly up. Uh, now what you can do then is just push these all the way over to the right until the small one uh, starts flying up automatically. So just keep pushing him over a little bit more, a little bit more, and then eventually he will. Uh, for some reason, I'm really struggling to... I was really struggling to comprehend. Just push him over once. There we go. And with that one done then, we can then push Big Daddy over to the left. And then we can jump up and then jump up. Again, obviously having a look at the bottom as well. And then make sure to fly your way over. So that's how you complete that section. Oh, this is where it starts to get real fun. Um, so, obviously, uh, this bit's not so bad. We're just going to jump up here, and then we are going to jump to the left log. And then do the same thing here, then. So, give yourself a good bit of momentum. And then fly, free willy, fly! Same thing with this one. And, obviously, because the screen's going to start getting upside down and backwards and everything... Um, the controls are going to be inverted soon, so if you have problems with them, like me, yeah, it's going to be fun. So just jump up on here, jump up. Don't, uh, you can actually just fly your way over to the right-hand side log with that one. So jump up and go to the left, and then jump to the next log at the top. There we go. So yeah, if you do have problems uh, with inverted controls like me, <laughs> you're in for a grand old time for, you know, another five, six minutes or so. Uh, so could you continue to head down? You're still pushing uh, the left stick to walk the way you've been walking. Uh, now this is where the invertedness really does come into it. So it's literally just a case of jumping up on this leaf and that leaf and then getting yourself enough momentum to, to jump over. But I kept messing up because I kept trying to go the correct way and not the wrong way. So make sure that you're doing it. Uh, make sure you're doing it the inverted way in order to just jump up onto the log here. And there we go. Again, make sure to fly it just in case, because that part took me literally about three minutes to do, because that was pain. Uh, so now we're onto the frozen spiderweb section. Again, nothing... No, again, all the controls, I, I believe, are still inverted at this point. So it's literally just a case of finding the path once more. So, another ladybird section to do then. This one's uh, easy enough then. All you're doing is jumping up onto the uh, ladybird to the left, and then to the left, and then to the... Uh, in fact, we're going down this time. So continue to head down, sorry, first of all. And then we've got another three. So what you need to do is uh, not accidentally touch him like I did. Uh, so jump onto the first ladybird here. <laughs> Again, you know, try not to touch his butt. Apparently ladybirds don't like being touched on the butt. But just jump, and then jump, and then jump over to the log on the next side. Now the controls should be back to square one for another few minutes. So jump... Oh, damn it, once again. 
So obviously you're going to need to jump on the two ladybirds here to nip it to the left hand side. And down we go. And you think that's the end again? <laughs> well, you'd be wrong as we butt bounce our way to the end. Uh, we're actually going to play now as the... Uh, basically through the underwater level now as the inverted section of ourself. So everything, all the controls in this section will be inverted. It's literally, again, just a case of jumping on jellyfish, jumping on the, the, um, jumping on the kids' heads. Um, and yeah, just effectively doing that then. Uh, but we'll be going to the left rather than the right. But again, all inverted, so take your time, take your time. So that's another section done, just the last section to do then, and 
Now, this is where you can... So, basically, with the Untouchables achievement for not getting kicked by any robots, you can do it on this section, uh, or this level. But, you do have to replay the entire level again, just to get to this point. So, yeah, bit of a pain, but, um, yeah. So, so, just wondering, uh, so if you were, were wondering, this is what you can do. Just replay the Dreamland level, and try and not get touched at all by any robots. Obviously, you're touching them on the head, which is fine, but, you know, I'm just doing it the complete, absolute knob-end way. There we go. So, jumping up. Again, controllers are still going to be a little bit inverted. Fly up onto the next pipe. And, again, the reason I haven't, um, or not showing the Untouchables achievement, by the way, is just, is purely just the fact that, um, when, once you get to this place, you... Should have sort of an uh, sort of a clue of where the robots are, and again, you can just watch uh, back on this part of the video anyway, just to be safe. Oh, you know, just to be safe than sorry. Um, otherwise, you know, it may take you sort of two or three attempts, something like that, something like that. So it's not, you know, it's not overly bad, but it's just something that I wasn't originally even going for. Um, but yeah, anyway. So, with a the robot then, fly your way over. We are almost done now. We've got seconds, seconds left of the game now. Fly down the pipe hole, the crack pipe of life. Like crack Grealish. More robot. Watch out, robot. Ah! Run away! So, yeah, I think even if, you t even if his leg touches you... But, uh, as we f keep flying to the left, so even if his leg touches you, even if he doesn't look like he's kicked you, that means that he's touched you, and you will not get the achievement. So, bear that one in mind as well. Thank you. Get the hell out of my way. Thank you. Ah, you can't even climb up the pipe. Loser! Anyway, here we are then. This is the end of the game. Finally, that inverted section felt like it was taken for ever. So... Anyway, there we go then, guys and gals. So you will have 1,000, 1,000, uh, 1,000 out of 1,000 Gs. Whether you get the Untouchable Achievement, again, is completely up to you. But uh, thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the game, and I hope that the guide helped you out as well. If it did, of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share with a friend as well. Big, massive shout-out to all my Patreon supporters and my YouTube members as well. Honestly, you guys and gals are just legends of the highest order, so thank you again. And, well, I hope you've enjoyed this free game, unless you had to buy it in the future, in which case it's not free right now, but it is free right now, because it is May the 23rd, 2023. Anyway, thank you so much for watching again, guys and gals. I shall see you in the next one. Big old chunky peanut butter love.